Will the Lone Ranger be alone at the box office this weekend? Mm -hmm. Eric, our movie guy, is here. The reviews, Eric, have not been good. I'm no, they have one star. Yes, they have. But I think a lot of people are piling on this weekend. People have been sort of waiting for this movie to fail. You know, this, this the film certainly not above criticisms, but I th think there's a few more things to like in this movie than some, a lot of the summer tent poles that I've seen this summer. Here's a look at the numbers that came out last weekend at the box office. Monsters University at number one, The Heat number two, World War Z three, White House down four, and Man of Steel five. So mm -hmm. where will the Lone Ranger fit into this mix? Well, you have it's, it's competing this weekend against Despicable Me two, and that's going to be really the big winner this weekend. Mm. Families, kids are just lining up, waiting for their parents to take them to see this movie. You're probably going to see that movie do over a hundred million just uh, by Sunday. Lone Ranger is a, you know it's a two hundred fifty million dollar budgeted film. It's, it's probably going to be second, I believe, this weekend. Uh, but if it doesn't make $75 million by Sunday, you know, some people at Disney are going to be sweating a little bit. At the box office this weekend, it is The Lone Ranger coming out, along mm -hmm. with Despicable Me Too. And Kevin Hart, let me explain. Yeah, I mean, Kevin Hart, you know, a couple years ago had this small concert film, didn't open on even 300 screens, and did almost $8 million. This film is going to be opening on 800 screens, not a huge release, but I feel... I have a feeling that this is going to probably triple the grosses of the previous one and be one of the highest uh, selling concert films of all time. He's a funny guy. I like to think like a man. Yes, very funny. And there's Think Like a Man 2 coming out. That is coming out. <laughs> T-O-O, correct? Yes, That's that is true. coming out uh, next year, I believe. And the heat did nicely, as you predicted. Yeah, the heat. I mean, this is going to be a, a really nice hit for Fox. You know, they've had the epic didn't do very well for them. The internship's going to be one of the summer big losers. But this is a film that if it sort of follows the, the sort of word of mouth that Identity Thief and Bridesmaids and The Proposal did, you know, for the two stars, that this is going to be a film that could probably do between 130 and 160 million this weekend. It's more than I can say for White House Down. Which? <laughs> it's a very big bomb. For Sony, I mean, even more so than After Earth, something we talked about when we gave our Sony preview a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. that this is a film, a $150 million film. We already had one White House Under Attack movie. This film didn't do as well as that, didn't do as well as After Earth. This is going to be a real big disappointment uh, for Sony this year. Sony is hurting. Thanks mm -hmm. for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Thank you.